Jesse Waters, the Fox propagandist and heir to Tucker Carlson's coveted APM time slot, was gently scolded by his own mother for his awful political takes on live TV during his very first episode. Intrigued? Then click that like, subscribe, and the alert bell, and maybe check out my Patreon and enjoy the video. So obviously Jesse Waters is the specific subject of this particular story, and he is a smug, unlikable, hyperpartisan right-wing propagandist. But in the abstract, this is also a story about sons and their mothers, and in that respect, it's as heartwarming as the first part is hilarious. In full disclosure, my mother passed away of stage 4 lung cancer five years ago, so this hits me in the feels because this is, I mean, again, it's kind of a takedown of Jesse Waters, who again is really unlikable for all the things he says and does and believes, but it's also really sweet that his mother is going to gently call him out with the best of intentions to try to make him a better person and a better host. As far as I know, this is not a bit, this is not rehearsed, this is a, a, an actual thing that happened unscripted and the reactions are real, and I hope that's the case. But we've got two clips to play, and we're going to unpack them. But this is Jesse Waters. This is a live aired encounter between Jesse Waters and his mother. We have a very special guest on the line, a Democrat, my mom. Mom, Hello how there, have you... Jesse. Hello there, mom. <laughs> how have you um, enjoyed the show so far? I have enjoyed the show. I want to say congratulations, Honey Bun. We are so proud of you and your <laughs> Honey Bun Thank accomplishments. You. And you've worked so hard. Now let's aim to have you keep your job. And <laughs> to that end, I do have some suggestions. This is hilarious so far. So I didn't hear the first part until now that she is a Democrat. So that does lead me to believe that this is not a bit. This is a genuine and actual encounter that, for whatever reason, Jesse Waters decided to have with his mother on live TV. Anyway. Okay. Do not tumble into any conspiracy rabbit holes. <laughs> we do not want to lose you, and we want no lawsuits. Ooh, so she calls out Fox News again for the, you know, the defamation suit that was filed by uh, Dominion Voting Systems in which they had to pay out nearly $800 million. It was a profound embarrassment for Fox News' credibility, such as it is, and was the preceding event that led to Tucker Carlson being let go. So she's throwing, she's giving some great advice here and throwing shade at the network at the same time. That's awesome. Okay. In, okay. In yeah. keeping, I, I have a list here. In keeping okay. with the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. We need you to be kind and respectful. Okay. You're at, okay. You're asking Jesse Waters to be kind and respectful? Mom, come on. Come on, Mom. Know your son. You yourself mentioned that humble is a stretch, so I, I get that. <laughs> Use your voice responsibly to promote conversation that maintains a narrative thread. There, there really has been enough Biden bashing, and the laptop <laughs> is old. Perhaps you could suggest that your people take less interest, for example, in other people's bodies, that's hilarious. There again, I mean, she's obviously she has this written down. She has this prepared. This is some serious mom energy. I love it. And you can see him rubbing his temples like, what the hell did I decide to do? But she's right. I love that she's calling him out for this, that the laptop is old and there's been enough Biden bashing. And she even roasts him a bit like, OK, I can't expect you to be humble. You're Jesse Waters. There's no way you can be humble. I love that. There's a second clip I want to play here, too. And uh, then again, we'll continue to unpack it. You could suggest that your people take less interest, for example, in other people's bodies, and talk about that. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we're trying to keep other people's interest away from children's bodies. That was the point oh, of that right. segment. Mom, I, I, I love you. you. Wait, I was, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> get he's being scolded. He's trying to end the phone call, and she's pulling mom privilege. She's saying, no, Jesse, damn it, listen to me, in a very polite way. Okay. Wait, wait. I, I knew this was you a bad to idea. seek solutions versus <laughs> fanning the flames. You okay. could encourage that Bedminster friend of yours to return to his earlier career on television. Everyone in his audience could wear a red hat, okay. and I'm sure the ratings would soar, although All never right. as high, my darling. 
as yours <laughs> on Jesse Waters Primetime. Good luck. Thank you very much, Mom. I love you very much. And, I love uh, you. I'm thinking that a small dinner between <laughs> five and eight all would right, be we the gotta way to go. We got to go, Mom. This is just like <laughs> how things are at home. I all love all right. Bye. Okay, folks, that's hilarious. And I'll be honest with you, that was endearing. Not so much for Jesse Waters. Obviously, he's still the same unlikable guy he was. But for a brief moment, we could empathize him as a guy who's being gently scolded by a parent uh, who clearly loves him. You can hear the love in her voice. I mean, it, it was so it was so persuasive. It almost made you believe, again, it was a scripted bit. But apparently it wasn't. Uh, her advice was awesome. And, of course, the Bedminster friend she's talking about was Donald Trump. She's like, hey, maybe you could encourage Donald Trump to go back to uh, reality TV and maybe avoid politics. Anyway, iconic moment. Jesse Waters' mom, I would argue, needs her own damn show on the Fox Propaganda Network. Uh, perhaps she could be the lead-in, or perhaps she could bump him back. Perhaps she could do a, a, a Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien thing from about 13 years ago, and maybe she could take over the APM time slot and bump Jesse Waters back, and the entire show could just be her gently in a very maternalistic way uh, correctly lecturing Jesse Waters, her Aaron son, on the virtues of democratic politics and the pitfalls, the, the abyssal pitfalls of Republican politics, MAGA partisanship, and the deranged cult that surrounds Donald Trump. Food for thought.